Neil Ramateur loves making his clients feel beautiful, and while makeup is his personal speciality, he also has an eye for style and accessories. Even if you're not a bride to be right now, there's bound to be a wedding in the family in the not too distant future. And Neil has curated a bridal expo exclusively for Mela viewers. Let's see what Neil and his experts have to offer. Love may be forever, but fashion is for now. And even tradition must move with the times. While the ethnic bridal look is as fashionable as ever, it isn't exactly the same as grandmother would have known it. Time-honored styles and elements are being reinvented to keep pace not only with the seasonal trends, but also with ways that today's brides see themselves. Neil Ramadar and his team set out to present a masterclass in classic Eastern bridal fashion that cover the mainstream cultural traditions of the South African Indian community. At the same time, they also aim to create looks that were fresh and original, enabling the bride to express her identity as a 21st century woman who is proud of her heritage. Krishna Priyadasa was watching Neil in action. Neil, this is looking spectacular. What are you working on today? In preparation for bridal season, we have collaborated with the best in the business when it comes to hair, makeup and dressing and clothing, which is fresh off the runway and decor to give support to our future brides. Tell us about your marketing campaign. The marketing campaign is to make future brides aware of the latest trends on hair, makeup, clothing, jewelry, accessories and hair trends as well. The wedding season is chaotic and sometimes it can get worse if you don't connect with the right people. What is your aim for the season? My aim for the season is to make brides aware of what the trends are. So my aim is to educate the future bride on who she should be going to and what she should be looking like. Despite modern times, do you feel that Indian weddings will always remain traditional? I think it will remain in essence traditional, but there will be a modern twist to it. You'll see if the attire will be traditional, the hair and makeup will be more modern. The modern bride wants to still hold the essence of her culture Culture, but she still wants to give it a modern edge. There's a lot of marriages that are taking place that are not necessarily Indian and Indian, so we have to get a twist in there so that it can identify with the modern Indian woman. The latest makeup trends right now are a flawless skin, shimmer back on the eye, a sculpted eyebrow, full lashes, illumination on the skin, a slight contour. A wedding is very much a team effort. It's important that the bride selects specialists who she can trust to implement her own creative concept. The first thing that she needs to do is she needs to pick someone that will manifest her vision. It's very hard for a bride to communicate sometimes what her vision really is. So she needs to find somebody that can make her dream come true when it comes to hair and makeup. And the best way to do that is for a bride to have as much information as possible for the person that's doing her hair and makeup. In many ways, traditional styles are based on those handed down from generation to generation in the days of Royal India. And Neil used decor and furnishings to stimulate the grandeur of a palace or haveli. I wanted to create an oasis of opulence, of luxury, of over-the-top glamour, very Vogue-inspired, very editorial, very international. The subcontinent has regional costumes that reflect local, cultural and religious tenets. And Neil presented examples from South and North. This is a traditional North Indian bride with Byzantine cut jewellery, traditional gold. What we've done is we've created the traditional hairstyle, but what we've done is we've given it a modern twist with the lip colour as well. And then with the strong lash to create a more up-to-date version. And then the silhouette is a mermaid cut silhouette. And as you can see, the veil is placed on the top of her head, which is also a very traditional look, but with a modern twist. So this is the traditional Tamil bride with a very playful traditional Tamil plait with Mathapati uh, jewellery which is very very traditional but what we've done to create a modern twist is we've created a very youthful lip colour which is much more bright and again the sparkle on the eye, the traditional jewellery and the traditional attire as well. So this is a traditional night before otherwise known as a Sangeet. The colours as well are a modern take on what a Sangeet would normally look like and what we've done on her is we've created a soft blue underliner to match up with the outfit as well. Again modern twist, we've got extensions in her hair with blonde and a strong sarbandi as well. 
This is a modern take on a lenga. It's a lenga with a train. It's a very, very risque blouse. And then it's an overflow of jewelry, which is also very, very, very modern. This is for the bride that is completely over the top. She wants something very international, very sexy. You'll also notice that her hair is not a traditional look as well. It's loose, it's, it's flirty, it's sexy. Ethnic is no longer synonymous with old school, and today's brides have all the scope to be themselves while still celebrating their heritage. Neil and his team have brought classic Indian styles right up to date, offering a range of exciting options for brides who are respectful to their roots but also want to tell their own story on the big day.